love nude lipstick, so I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys what I reach for on a daily basis, whether I'm in a hurry or whether I simply want to pair a nice neutral lip with a bolder eye look. Started with five, and of course, it continued to spiral out of control, and I have quite a few everyday lipsticks that I reach for to sort of give you an idea of what I reach for when I'm in a hurry, or just that everyday lipstick that I like to just kind of grab for and wear. So if you guys want to know what all of these lipsticks are, then please do keep watching. So the first two I'd like to share with you today come from CoverGirl, and they came out in these rose gold kind of bullet encasing. Number 250 is the darker of the two, it's called Sultry Sienna, and it's this gorgeous dusty rose mauve shade. Hopefully you can see it from here on the camera. I did swatch them all on my hands so you can see them a little bit better in close up. But this is such a pretty color. I love to pair this with any kind of mauve lip liners, but by itself it's a gorgeous color. They're very creamy and hydrating, but I feel like the color lasts forever. It doesn't budge, it stays. It's hydrating and creamy, but yet it stays, which is amazing. And again, this dustier, darker shade in Sultry Sienna. And then the lighter shade, number 255, is called Tempting Toffee. As you can see, it's just a little bit lighter. It's almost kind of like a terracotta nude really pretty color in fact this one in number 255 tempting toffee I love 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 pairing it with the etc lip liner from Mac I think it looks gorgeous together and it makes it last on your lips that much longer so those are my two favorite go-to's from covergirl at the moment this next lip product is actually a lip gloss and I don't tend to wear lip glosses by themselves just because I'm not really a big lip gloss girl if I do reach for a lip gloss it's usually on my no makeup makeup days when I'm just gonna head out the door do some groceries or run a couple of errands and I don't want my lips to look dry and dead I'll throw on some lip gloss. But if it's windy, girl, you better believe I'm not going to be putting lip gloss on because there's nothing that annoys me more than having glossy lips and my hair sticking to it. So windy days are for matte and liquid lipstick. But anyways, this lip gloss is the one I reach for when I'm in a hurry or I just want some kind of shine or gloss on my lips. And it's the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I love the name. It's adorable. These smell like vanilla bakery confection. They smell so good and the reason why I like this one is because it's a very light pinky shade but it's a nude that has some color to it so it's not a very light washing out kind of nude. It's more of a peachy pinky nude and I think this would look beautiful on pretty much any skin tone and I adore pairing it with nude lipstick so on top of any nude lipstick I'll pop this on as well. So I'll wear it alone or I'll pair it with a lipstick and it's amazing. I like all of the butter lip glosses. They're awesome. NYX has amazing prices. They smell so good. They're hydrating and they're really really pretty. All right, so this next product is a lip liner, and it's actually the only lip liner I have in here that I will literally wear this by itself all over my lips. I will literally line my lips with this and then fill them in and wear it alone as a lipstick. It gives you kind of that matte finish look, but it's not drying, and it's affordable. It's from Essence Cosmetics 06 Satin Mauve, and it's definitely a gorgeous creamy mauve. I love this lip liner with mauve lipsticks, but alone it wears like a lipstick. It's amazing, and the longevity and wear of this product is quite incredible. It's rather stunning on. It's such a pretty color, but it's so amazing how long it wears and it's like four dollars or three dollars Something like that really really inexpensive and it lasts as long as a MAC lip liner and they're just as creamy This next product is kind of like a crayon pencil form of a lip product and I discovered this Simply just browsing through the NYX aisle I was looking at their products and I saw the bottle or I guess the encasing of this particular product And I fell in love with the color of it and I said that is so beautiful I wonder if the lip color inside is just as gorgeous and a lot a lot of times packaging is deceiving and the color inside isn't necessarily the same shade as what you're going to get or once you apply it onto your lips or your face. This lipstick is the exact same color as the encasing. It is beautiful. This is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Creams in number 06 in the shade Sable. It's so pretty. I wore it in a video a couple, maybe a few months ago in a get ready with me. I got a lot of questions on it. Even my mom was asking me what I was wearing and she liked it so much I bought her one for Christmas. It's such a pretty color. I would describe it as a dusty mauve. And the reason why I like it so much is because it's very easy to fill your lips in with it because of the size. It's like a crayon pencil kind of product. It's creamy and it's very long lasting. I have found that I can wear this for hours on end without any lipstick smearing onto my teeth or falling away from my mouth. I don't get any feathering with it. It just works really well as far as the color payoff and lasting on your lips pretty much all day long. It doesn't matter if you're drinking or eating it, it stays and it stays. This next product is something I love for a very long time and I almost forgot about it until recently when I was going through my nude lipsticks and I pulled it out again and it's definitely a go-to. It's the kind of go-to lipstick you throw in your purse and just keep it on hand. And it's the L'Oreal La Lac, just kind of like a crayony pencil as well, but these are a lot thinner than the NYX one as you can see. It's smaller but it's bigger than a lip liner. And this one is in the shade Chocolat and it's kind of like a taupey nude. It's creamy, 
it's long wearing it's not a light nude it's more of that kind of medium tone nude and i think this looks beautiful pretty much on any skin tone i've seen fair girls wearing this i'm like light to like medium skin tone with a little bit of an olive undertone looks great on me i love it great to keep in the purse this next one is the one i reach for when i'm doing kind of a smoky eye or just something where i feel like my makeup is intense everywhere else so i don't want a bold lip but i do want some color there and it's the Too faced la creme lipstick in the shade honey bear and the reason why i like this is because again it's a pretty dusty rose kind of mauve shade the color that i always reach for when it comes to lipsticks but once it's on your lips it has this wet glossy look to it so i feel like if you're doing matte blush maybe you're not highlighting you have a matte bronzer maybe a matte eye look you want to gloss up those lips and this color again lasts forever i highly recommend the Too faced la creme lipsticks for those of you that are maybe younger and aren't allowed to wear makeup yet or you can wear just minimal amount to high school or middle school or something like that because these are hydrating and they're buildable in color pigmentation so they can go on very sheer but they can build to a more opaque finish and the creamy shininess that they give is amazing it makes your lips look beautiful kissable i don't know if your parents want you wearing kissable lips around boys but for those of you younger that are looking for a less pigmented color but still want some color on their lips i would recommend these Too faced la creme lipsticks this next one is something that i have been a fan of this color i don't even think they sell it anymore i actually bought it in bulk because i was that obsessed with it they used it on new york fashion week on the runways years ago i don't even remember what year it came out it's just a covergirl lipstick i don't even know what style or like collection it's from but this one is in number 405 and the name is adorable it's called fairy tale and it's a bright hot pink it's almost like a coral hot pink i guess is the best way to describe it i love this lipstick as you can see this is my second tube and it's more than halfway through i love it in the summertime i think it's a great pop and splash of color with minimal makeup maybe just some mascara on this and you're good to go i wore this for fashion week i've worn this going to the beach i just wore the heck out of this lipstick and i loved it so much that i think i have two or three more tubes brand new and packaged factory sealed away in my backup lipstick drawer i love it that much and the pigmentation is crazy it's off the charts it's the kind of lipstick that not only doesn't budge but if you do a swatch which i did for this video and i wipe my hand and over and over again with makeup wipe with makeup remover i've even washed my hands and i still have a tiny bit of stain here and i did this yesterday so this is the kind of lipstick that will definitely stay but it's hydrating as well very moisturizing i love this color and again it's number 405 fairy tale from covergirl the last few shades i have for you are more in that nude family and the first one comes from l'oreal paris and this one is in the collection exclusive of nude colors that they offer this lip color of all the nudes that they offered was my favorite and it's in number 370 jennifer's nude and it's a really really pretty nude that has some peachiness to it so you can basically wear this with no makeup you can wear this with a smoky eye i love pairing a very dark vampy eye look with a nude lip but i often find that with my skin tone if i wear something too light on the lip it just looks very washed out it doesn't look like i'm wearing lipstick and it doesn't look that great this is the kind of nude that i can reach for that will still give me some color but keep it toned down and i love that it's hydrating it's moisturizing it's long wearing and every time i wear this color to work i'm asked what it is and they're always surprised when i say it's a drugstore product this next color is from maybelline and it comes from their creamy matte collection the very first installment they released i believe last summer and i'm wearing it right now it's one of my favorite nudes that's darker it's almost like a brown nude that's probably the best way to describe it and it's in the shade 657 nude nuance and i tend to describe this as the perfect fall nude that doesn't mean you can't wear it in the summer or the springtime it's just a gorgeous nude that has some brown undertones to it so i think this looks beautiful on light to medium skin tones it probably pops perfectly on a darker skin tone as well but if you're very fair and you're scared of sort of that brown kind of lip color i might stay away from it but definitely try try it out just to see because you never know it's just like clothing if you don't try it on you'll never know if the color is the right fit for you or not i honestly ran away from brown lipsticks in high school i thought they would look hideous on me it's my favorite lipstick color today so i'm glad that i've been kind of testing the waters and trying new things but don't be scared if you're afraid of dark brown lips because this is almost like a berry brown it's not very brown but it's not very pink or very nude it's somewhere in the middle i'm wearing it right now it has kind of like that creamy finish even though it's a matte lipstick it's very creamy and that's why they're called creamy matte lipsticks i love these from maybelline i have all of them but this is the one i reach for the most when i'm kind of running out the door and i need a pop of nude or definitely something bolder than just a plain light nude 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 this next one comes from l'oreal as well and it's in their regular lipstick collection i believe it's in the golden casing and this is a number 839 cinnamon toast this is definitely a vampire brown i would say it's almost like a cool tone lighter brown but it's not as dark or as vampy 
as a very chocolatey brown. I would say it's almost like a red brown. And every time I wear this to work, one of the girls I work with always asks me what it is and she says how it looks so great with my skin tone. And I'm always so complimented because her makeup always looks so pretty. So yeah, it's definitely a go-to for me when I want a nude that has a little bit more boldness to it. Maybe it's not really a nude to some people because it is definitely a cool tone brown shade. But to me, it's like a nude brown neutral shade. And I think it's great for every day, especially if you're doing minimal makeup. Sometimes you want to do a bold lip and then this is the kind of color I will reach for. I'm really impressed with these L'Oreal lipsticks. I may have to pick up a few more and test them out because so far the colors that I've chosen I have been loving from the formulation to the way they look and feel on my lips. And the very last shade comes from NYX. This is from their Butter Lipstick Collection. I actually got this in an Ipsy bag and absolutely fell in love with it. And the funniest thing is I had hauled a bunch of these early on from the NYX website, but for some reason I didn't pick up this shade. I'm so I'm really happy that Ipsy included it in one of my bags because I love it. Again, it's a nice dusty rose mauve shade and it is in the shade BLS 17 Pops. So the color is called Pops. They're named after little like sweet candy things. And this is a great go-to mauve shade because it's creamy. It feels so comfortable, but again, it's very long wearing and the price is right. So that is it for my go-to everyday lipstick collection that I thought I would share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the kind of video that I would click and want to watch because when you're in a hurry, sometimes you don't have those 40 minutes to do a full face of makeup, but you always have time to put on some mascara, maybe a little bit of bronzer, and then most importantly, a really pretty lip. So a nude lip is a great go-to when you're in that kind of a hurry mode. So hopefully my picks and what I tend to reach for on a daily basis helped you guys out. Maybe you found something that you want to test and try out. More than half of this was drugstore, which kind of surprised me but it kind of didn't because I am a big drugstore fan I love finding things that are affordable that I can just cross the street go to my local pharmacy and pick it up and not have to order it online or take that long drive all the way to the mall to go to some boutique or beauty counter to get it so I hope some of this was helpful to you guys thank you again for watching it means the world that you press play and take the time out of your day to watch my videos and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already so that I can see you in my next video thanks for watching guys bye Hey babe, can I call you back? I'm filming. I'll call you back in five minutes. Bye. Love you.